Hi y'all, so get this. I am back with a huge, huge Dollar Tree haul. This has uh, been accumulating for about a month. A lot of it is food too, so I need to actually haul it because my daughter wants to eat it. Poor thing. <laughs> anyway, so let's just jump on in. No random order. I don't, I'm just going to grab bags. I know I tried to put them in order, but we'll just go from here. So... I finally found the Disney antibacterial hand wipes. They're three 10 packs. And these this is of Ariel, Tinkerbell, and uh, Minnie Mouse. So now I can put one of these in my purse. So I heard very good things about these. I also had a coupon. Uh, so some of these I got for like 50 cents. Some of them I got for 25 cents. Uh, I picked up and some of, yeah, 50 cents. And this one was 25 cents. So this is the Colgate toothpaste for the kids. I got two of the anti-cavity uh, anti crest. This is the 3.5 ounces. These were, uh, I, it was a dollar off of two. And so these were 50 cents a piece. Same thing for these. This is the baking soda whitening with tartar protection fresh mint. 3.5 ounces. A dollar for both of these. I know, nothing fun and exciting. I'm trying to separate as I go so I can uh, put them where they belong. I finally found the Daisy Air Freshener. Not the like the sunflower one, but this one's for the car. So I got that. I've seen these in several hauls. This is a three-in-one nail art pen, and it's blueberry scented. It has the nail polish, the um, gems, and then it has a little uh, pin. So I got that one. This is my most recent trip. This was from July 12th. Uh, I got Lily this big mistake eraser that says not again in purple because she likes that saying not again. So we're working in her wor workbook and so this will be good for her to erase her things that she messes up on. I picked up two books. I've been in a reading mood. I just finished reading uh, Fourth of July weekend. I finished reading The Reluctant Prophet. If you all follow me on Instagram and Facebook, uh, it's a book that I got from Dollar General that was $1.50. Um, and I just couldn't put it down. Uh, especially walking on the treadmill. I read when I walk. Um, and it makes the time go by faster. So I picked up this one. I thought it would be good for me and my husband, I guess. I don't know. It just looked inter interesting, and it's called Equally Shared Parenting, Rewriting the Rules for a New Generation of Parents, and it's by Mark and Amy Valcon, and um, it, I'm not going to go and read any of it, I'm just going to show you what it is, because um, then this video is going to be forever long, and it's already going to be long, so that's this, Equally Shared Parenting. And then this one here is called A Desirable Residence by Madeline Wickham. And it just looks like a really good book. Uh, it was $5.97 originally. Actually, here on the inside cover it says $25.99. So that's what that looked like or looks like. I thought this would be a good read while I was walking on the treadmill. I'm reading a book right now. All my books can go upstairs. Don't fall on me. I've got a pack of things piling up here. So I already opened these and they're just your plastic 
spoon. Nothing exciting. Lily has one more of these gummies. They're called gummy band candies, and they're sort of fruit flavors. And she's already eaten two, so she has those. Uh, I bought one soft white three-way bulb. That's a good price. Although there isn't a bulb in here because we had to use it. So that's trash. I picked up some of these clear straws because I bought a thing to do um, smoothies, to make smoothies. And it just wasn't working with the small straws. So I bought these. And they're, you know, they, they're bendable to use in my smoothies. I bought another thing of earbuds because my other ones went so that's trash then I picked up this LCD cleaning screen it says it's good for TV laptop camera and mobile phones so I thought I'd pick that up it comes with a 30 milliliter bottle of cleaning solution and then the cleaning cloth so I thought that would be good to clean off my computer screen because there's fingerprints on them so I picked that up to give that a try I thought these were adorable. I get Lily's and my socks there and this is the three pair size four to six and it's got the it's yet their yellow theme and it's got the strawberries and flowers then it just has the one with the yellow heel and it's white and then this is the light yellow with the yellow heel and toes. All the toes are yellow. My husband's putting up curtains in the living room, so if you hear banging, it's because he's nailing into the wall. I finally found these. Um, the first time I saw these, they were in Starter Level Chick, and I think I saw them on Clara Slate's, but they're these grab -a bubbles So I got a pink and a blue too. I thought Lily would have fun with those. I haven't seen these since and I bought these a long time ago. I did find some Gullah bags. I didn't find any of the wallets because that's what I was interested in. But I did pick up this purple one with the white flower. It's got two zippers. I was going to use them and then I decided not to use them right yet. So this has this zipper pot part, and then this one here, and then the belt loop, and it had the, um, I think this one had the, um, the lanyard, but like I said, I was going to use them for when I went out, and then I didn't. This one has the carabiner clip, and it just opens up like that. It's dark pink. Pink. I like all sorts of pink and this one is for your camera and it has uh, really pink pretty flowers on there too so yeah they're really nicely made I'm very surprised I should be because from what I'm hearing they retail for almost like 30 bucks so I picked up a, another uh, drawer, two drawer container for my lip glosses or my lip balms. And in purple, I'll just stick everything in here and then situate it when I'm done. And put it up. one thing one bag so I bought this clipboard it is a wooden clipboard and it has this little hangy thing here so I saw on their um, on Dollar Tree's thing they have like it's called value seekers and they do like crafts and recipes and things and they did something with clothes pins like they uh, painted the board and then they had clothes pins hanging in different areas and you put your mismatched socks on them you decorate the clothes pins and stuff like that and then you hang it I think 
I would have to see. I don't know if you hang it from here or if you hang it. I think you're going to have to hang it like this. But, um, and then you, it, you close pin your mismatched socks. So I'm going to give that a try. If I do it, I'll let y'all, I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'm not that crafty, y'all. This one's food, it looks like. This was from a recent trip, too. So my husband wanted to try these Select Choice Chewy Peanut Butter and Chocolate Chip Granola Bars. My daughter likes the s'mores ones that we bought her. So we got those. We wanted to try um, this Weiler's Authentic Italian Ice. And they're the berry cherry mix. So it has strawberry, blue raspberry, berry lemonade, and cherry. And they're fat free. So, you know, I can enjoy them too. I love Italian ice. I picked up another bag of the Marie Calendar blueberry muffin mix. These are awesome. My husband and my daughter love them. I picked up two cans of the Pampa Peach Has and Light Syrup, although I'll drain them. Uh, we're going to make what's called Red Hot Peaches. So what you do is you take the halves here, and I might do a video on this, I'm not sure. Uh, but you take the peach halves and you put them down on a pan, and then you put like two or three, I want to say three Red Hots in the center of the peaches and then you pour in a little bit of lemon juice in each one and you put it in the fridge and let it chill and then what it does is it soaks in all that cinnamon so it's basically a red hot peach they're really good I don't like cinnamon but those are good so I thought that would be a nice snack to do for Lily I wanted to try this this is the first time I've seen this at the Dollar Tree it's called Surma Sur Cerama Bright, and it's a uh, cooktop cleaner and it removes tough stains and it's for those uh, ceramic flat top uh, stoves so I thought I'd give this a try I've used something similar to this and it works so I'm hoping that this works and for a dollar if it does I'm gonna go pick me up a couple more bottles of those and it's 2.75 fluid ounces so yeah of course, we're doing some cleaning and things like that, so I bought some of the Scrub Buddies, multi-purpose scrub sponges. Um, normally, you get two in a pack. This is a bonus. It had three, and they just have the scrub part and then the sponge part. And then we got Lily some pop-up multi-point pencils, and I remember using these as a kid, and they're number two lead. So she's been practicing her writing her letters and things like that. So we got her those. And for 10 of these, that's an awesome deal. Just awesome. Because for one, I think, what did I do? Buy a four pack, I think, of the Sophia the first at the dollar spot, I think. And it was a dollar. So 10 of these were awesome. So yeah, that's for Lily. Sorry guys, I gotta take a sip. Mm. Just water. We'll grab another bag. Now, I did buy the Good Scent. I love these bags. Uh, and for a dollar for 15 of them, that is a good deal. They're, they hold really good. Um, the, they do have a lemon scent. They smell real good. Uh, so I did pick up another box of these and I also picked up the black bags that were the same style uh, but the 30 gallon bags these are for my dishes this is the nail guard sponges 
and I'll open one up and show you. This is the first time I've seen them there. I should pick up some more, but they have the little, if you could see the little indentions. This has the sponge part, this has the scrub part, the scouring, scouring part, and it has the indentions so you can, you know, it protects while you're washing your nails instead of, although I should be wearing gloves, but no, I'm not. Uh, so, yeah, so I did, got, I did get those. I might go back and get some more because that, that's the first time I've ever seen them at my Dollar Tree. Picked up some more uh, good scent, uh, good and clean uh, disinfectant wipes. This is the lemon scented. I love this this smell. Oh my god! Let's get high off a of cleaner, huh? I just love that smell. Uh, but for good for wipe down and stuff. I did pick up some hand protector, Arm and Hammer gloves. They're the vinyl ones, and there's ten of them in here. So when I do do my major cleaning in my bathrooms and stuff like that. I have the gloves. And okay, y'all. I know the first time I saw this cleaner was in with Miss Shorty. She posted a Instagram picture of her cleaning her cabinets. Now, we've been trying all different kinds of cleaners, and I always was like very hesitant to get this cleaner. Then I saw Modiva talk about it as well. And I was like, well, let's give it a try. So I did pick up this big, this is a 32 fluid ounce bottle. Um, I do have the smaller bottle with the spray. So um, this stuff is freaking awesome. I sprayed it. I have stains in my carpet. I have a light colored cream carpet. I have stains from pets. I have stains from a, you know, from baby to four years old. Stains everywhere. I'm talking four year old, five year old, six year old stains in my carpet. So my husband got a wild hair up his bum and said let's spray this on the carpet I'm like oh my gosh it's gonna like bleach it and it's gonna turn totally white this took out stains from six years ago it even took out stains when we bought the house in 2007 when I had a friend who spilled coke on the floor on the carpet and it took it out since 2007 that stain has been sitting there and it took it out so I recommend this stuff Oh, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Hence, LA's totally awesome cleaner, right? Let me grab another bag. So this is more stationary. I uh, bought some three count uh, neon ink comfort grip pens. Uh, pink, green, and orange. I'm not sure. I think they write in the colors that they are. I'm not sure. Yeah, neon ink. Hello. Duh, I just read it. So those. And then I picked up some double-sided highlighter pens. It has the pen and then the highlighter on the top. And it's blue, purple, and it's black ink. So, but the highlighters are the colors of the pens down here. So I picked up those. I picked up bubble mailers for friend mail that I have to get out. Just little things that I need to get out. I found another book. It's called The Perfect Happiness by Santana Montef Montefiore. And she, I guess he or she is the author of The French Gardener. It's a she. Hello. So this book um, right here, I thought it looked like a good read. 
And I'm picking up books I don't normally read. I read paranormal books like vampire love stories and werewolf love stories. I think paranormal romance is better than Harlequin. But for some reason, I've just been glued to these books. So, um, I'm just picking up different reads. Let's broaden my horizons, right? So, this book... I'm trying to see what it retails for and it doesn't say anywhere and I really don't want to take all that off so this is probably like a $15 book but it just looked like it would be a good read uh, she also has several books out there too that I might um, that I might you know read or might see if I can find. So we got that. Next bag. I'll show you this first. This was a while back and I forgot to haul these. But these are the weed barriers. It stops weeds without chemicals, lets air and water through the roots, and saves time from weedy, weeding, uh, which... You would probably have to put two of these down. My husband says that they're very thin. So we ended up buying three, but he only used one. So next year, or when we decide to do some more landscaping, we'll use these. So he says he, he likes them. So yeah. I picked up some Black Forest Gummy Worms for... Lily. She hasn't eaten those yet. I picked up another bag of the Russell Stouffer Red Velvet Candies. My husband's already eaten three bags of these. I'm going to do an empties video that I have several empties. My first empties video. Uh, so you'll probably see a bag of these in there. Although he's eaten like three or four bags of these. So whenever I find them I pick them up for him. Uh, he loves these. I picked up, I saw this in Modiva's um, uh, haul, and I thought I'd give them a try, and they're the Nutty Naturals Mediterranean Grown Apricots, and it's, it's actually, they're actually really good. These don't expire until June of 2015, and instead of me going and grabbing like a candy like one of these, I go for these instead. So like I said, I cut out a lot of sugar, a lot of, um, I mean these have 11 grams of sugar, but they're only 70 calories uh, for one ounce. So, but if I have a sweet fix, I, I'll grab one of these, a couple of those. Uh, this is a good snack as well, and it's the uh, H&K Anderson Peanut Butter Filled Pretzel Nuggets. These are really good. I Make sure you look because they have the 4 ounce and they have the 5 ounce bags. Get the five ounce. It's better, you know, better bang for your buck. Uh, I already took these. It's the Tension Headache Relief by Assured. I had a headache the other day. A real bad headache. And um, it says compared to Excedrin. Uh, I took two of these. These are 500 milligrams. Um... 500 milligrams so uh, and it's got the caffeine in them as well and uh, yeah it knocked my headache out like that real fast and for 24 caplets that's a good deal awesome deal all these places trying to get like five six bucks for headache medicine and other med is crazy. This stuff works just as well. Just FYI. Okay, let me. I got to scoot over here, guys. Okay, so we were hungry one day when we were hauling or shopping. And we picked up, we just wanted a snack because we were going to eat. And this is the pretzel sticks. And it's the pizza flavor. My husband doesn't like them, but my daughter and I do. So, yeah. 
And there's still a bunch in there. <laughs> okay. So everybody's hauling the granola and I'm sitting on four bags of granola. So I bought another cinnamon granola. I put this, I actually put it in vanilla yogurt and I actually also put it in my oatmeal, like my uh, cream of wheat, just to give it a little crunch. I don't, I don't use the full uh, two-thirds cup. I just use it enough, you know, like you would put croutons on a salad, just enough to give it a little crunch. Uh, so, yeah, we have that. And then I have three bags of the raspberry. My husband, my daughter, and I, we like to eat it right out of the bag. This stuff is really good. Yeah, this stuff's almost a month old haul video and I need to get to eating this actually you know what it's just like cereal I mean it expires in September 2014 but cereal lasts like I, I'll always say in my hauls so y'all know cereal lasts two years after the expiration date it has a shelf life of two more years after the expiration and like I said I put mine in my fridge and it stays fresh and I'm always going to give that tip because I don't want people buying cereal thinking that it, it'll it go bad when it won't. If it hasn't been opened, it still has a, a two-year shelf life. And get your little containers like you see at the Dollar Tree. The little cereal containers, pour the cereal in there. It fits really well in your fridge, stays organized, and your cereal's good to go. little tips and tricks okay so I saw these in Lady Swagga's um, a haul they're the minis and they're the sandwich cookies chocolate cream uh, banana cream vanilla cream and um, oh, I guess there's all she oh you know why because my daughter ate all the strawberry. They had strawberry cream. There's two strawberry cream, two vanilla cream. One has a vanilla wafer, the other one's like an Oreo, the banana cream, and then the chocolate cream. These are really good. I had a bite, I had a cookie out of hers, and they're really good. So that will be a repurchase. I also, and I'm waiting for these, man. Ooh, wee. Um, I've been really loving mangoes lately and the first time I saw these these were in Modiva's Hall and they're the Del Monte uh, diced mangoes in light syrup I normally I don't like syrup so I normally just dump the syrup out but this I will like dump the syrup out and put in oatmeal or yogurt or use in my smoothies I need to see if I can find some more of these and I also picked up the uh, fruit, tropical fruit. It's got papaya and pineapple. And I'm hoping my daughter likes it. I like papaya. So we got those. And they're only 70 calories for the cup. Zero fat. Sugar's 15. Um, and carbs are 17. I think it's a good snack. I don't... I mean, I watch my sugar... But there's just certain things that, yeah, I mean, you have to have sugar in your diet. Just, it depends on what kind of sugar. Uh, then my daughter wanted to try these striped shortbread, fudge striped shortbread cookies by Oven Bates. These are just like, they look just like the uh, Keebler Elf um, striped cookies. She's been waiting to eat these too. <laughs> so, Yeah. But those look so good. For the cup of coffee right now. Nah. No, I don't need it. So yeah. She'll get to start eating those tomorrow. Okay. And last Dollar Tree bag. I used these already. The Cascade uh, Pods with Dawn. And it had four packs and it's a fresh scent. These work, these work really well. 
but I went back and they didn't have any more. And they had the powdered ones that the Dollar Tree puts out, but the powder just doesn't, it cakes onto my dishes. Even if you use the rinse aid, I don't care what kind of rinse aid you use, it just still cakes on. And I can't ever get the, the powder stuff off. Even after like washing it with soap and a sponge. So anytime I see these, I'm gonna pick them up. So that's trash. And then I also picked up one of these scrubbing scrubbing bubbles two-in-one kitchen and dish cloth by Lib Libman. And these are really rough, so I bet you that'll get off a lot of caked on stuff. And then this is the like a microfiber side. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Let me check. I think that's all my bag. Yeah. That's all my bags from the from a doll from the Dollar Tree, several Dollar Trees, several several weeks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's long, uh, but like I said, I just wasn't doing videos. <laughs> um, so next, I'll probably do Goodwill. I've got some random stores, and I also have a little San Antonio haul from Fourth of July weekend. So I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos, and I love y'all. Bye.